What is going on guys, it's Declan here and today I'm going to be talking to you guys about some new additions that is going to be coming to Grand Theft Auto Online very soon. Now these new additions were listed on the Rockstar Newswire which I actually made a video about yesterday. So this is kind of a follow up video but I thought it was something definitely worth sharing with you guys as a few of these additions are really good, definitely something worth sharing. So if you guys do go on to enjoy today's video, make sure you hit that like button down below. Once again, can we try to shoot for something well over 500 likes, that would be awesome. And with that said, let's begin. So, starting this off, once again, I'm going to have a link in the description below to the Rockstar Newswire. Make sure you guys go ahead and check that out for yourselves if you actually want to see the full Newswire. Nevertheless, these new additions that are going to be coming to Grand Theft Auto Online may either be coming in with the new DLC, which I mentioned yesterday. Once again, like I said, guys, this is kind of a follow-up video from yesterday's video. If you want to see that, there will be a link in the top right corner or in the description below for you guys to check out. But yeah, these new additions may either be coming in alongside the new DLC or in future title updates, but these are kind of patch notes on what is going to be coming very shortly. So starting off, I'm going to have an image on screen right now of the Newswire text itself, and I'm going to be reading this out to you guys now, and these are awesome guys. So as you can see, it says there are many other ongoing improvements to expect as we continue to dedicate attention towards refining and ensuring the most fair and fun experience possible for everyone. In upcoming title updates and via dynamic tuning, you can expect the addition of a non-contact option for races. This will allow you to play standard races with collisions disabled between player vehicles. Other players will appear as semi-transparent and you'll still be able to collide with non-player traffic, structures and other scenery, but this mode for those who want to play it will eliminate the rubbing is racing mentality that some wish to avoid. So basically, this is going to be a great addition for all you racers out there that want to race completely clean away from all the crashing that sometimes goes on in normal online races. I believe this option should have been added in from the start, but you know, Rockstar is going to be Rockstar and they will add things in slowly. Anyway, moving away from that great addition and moving into another great addition, as you can see on screen once again, players will be able to call Lester and have him tell his cop buddies to turn a blind eye to any crime you may or may not be committing for a short period of time. This is one hell of a great addition. There's going to be a new option with Lester that you can call if you want to go ahead and rob a store. You can call Lester and then you will not be able to get the police on you or if you're going to rob a car or if you're going to commit any crimes, you can call Lester beforehand and then the police will not actually come after you. So once again, that is another great addition that is going to be coming to Grand Theft Auto Online. Can't wait for that one. That is generally going to be a huge help while playing online. Anyway, moving away from that and onto another patch note. As a reward for players who leave feedback on jobs, there will be some bonus RP granted every time a player either likes or dislikes content after playing it. So when you guys do a new job or a new mission, and at the end of it, you can either like or dislike it, you guys are going to be getting some bonus RP. Another great addition, I can't really see it being too much RP, but nevertheless, it is great that they are going to be adding that in. Moving on once again, GTA 5 payouts will be increased when completing either parachute, races, death matches, and last team standing jobs with less than 4 players. So the less players you have, the more money you are going to get when completing races and jobs and stuff like that. Moving on once again, and actually moving into the things that Rockstar are going to be taking out in the future updates. As a part of our ongoing commitment to target cheaters and keep the game as fair as possible, we are closing RP exploits and will be adjusting the RP totals of players who we know for certain to have gained illegitimate RP by cheating. Your RP will only be adjusted if you participated in mods, hacks, DNS redirects, manipulation of cloud files, or other similar nefarious behavior. If you grinded short legitimate missions or otherwise gained small amounts of RP without modding, your RP should not be affected by this correction. So basically, Rockstar are going to be adjusting everyone's RP level if they were using DNS or crazy manipulation of reputation. For all you guys out there that actually grind RP, you know, using my RP grind races or anybody else's RP grind stuff or general missions, then you are fine and your RP will not be affected. But of course, if you was using DNS in the past and you're still a crazy level, then your RP may be adjusted. I don't think they're going to, you know, let out any bans or anything like that or any cheater pulls, just an adjustment to the level of your character. Anyway, moving on to the last patch note, and that is the fact that Rockstar are going to be fixing the issue where players who had upgraded personal vehicles prior to the title update 1.10 were only able to sell them for 10 grand. So Rockstar are going to be fixing that. They're going to be fixing a lot of things and adding a lot of things, and one of them is also stunting. So if you watch my previous video, then you will already know this, but I thought I'd go ahead and throw it in this video anyway, considering this does fall under the kind of patch note category. 
and a few of you guys may have actually missed that video so I thought I'd go ahead and throw this in anyway as this is very important. Basically the old style of stunting is coming back. For anybody who doesn't know Rockstar actually nerfed the way stunting was. They actually patched some kind of bike glitch where you could fly in the air for longer and it really affected the way stunting worked. The community was kind of enraged by this and Rockstar definitely listened to the community on this one and they're going to be bringing back the old style of stunting very shortly, either with the new DLC or after that in a new title update. Who knows, but I can't wait for that to come back. It was already known for a while that stunting was coming back, but it was officially released on their Newswire. Anyway, that is pretty much all the information that I do have. Also, on their Newswire, they did release their new DLC that is going to be coming very soon, the High Life update, which is going to be bringing you guys new vehicles, new apartments, the debut of multi property ownership which is amazing and also some new weapons and also a new motorcycle it's absolutely amazing if you guys want to know more details about that i had a previous video on that once again the link to that is in the top right corner of the screen or in the description below anyway guys that is pretty much it for the commentary so if you guys did enjoy be sure to hit that like button down below once again let's try shoot for something well over 500 likes that'd be awesome and if you guys want to go ahead and follow us on twitter you can do that at 2 dynamic hd we are always trying to interact with you guys on there and keep you up to date on what we're going to post next. Anyway, with that said, I will see you all in the next video.